There are some things that you should never do, the do's and don'ts of life. I could try and tell you all of them, but we may be here for quite some time. Instead, I'm going to tell you 10 things you should never ever do. Amazing. Number 10. Never turn off your air vent in an airplane. Airplanes are infamous for rarely getting the temperature right on flights that satisfy everyone on board. They also happen to be one of those places that are notorious for making us sick. So I'll forgive you if when you're flying, you immediately go to turn off the air vent that's blowing freezing air down at you. But it turns out that turning your air vent off makes you far more susceptible to picking up nasty bugs on flights. Doctors have discovered that keeping your air vent on, even on its lowest setting, will help with ventilation, keeping airborne viruses at bay. They act as a barricade from any floating particles by creating a sort of air barrier, protecting you from any nasties and forcing any bad stuff towards the ground, stopping you from breathing it in, keeping you happy and healthy. Viruses such as meningitis and tuberculosis can survive airborne for as long as five hours, allowing them plenty of time to spread and infect various travelers. Not the best way to start off your holiday. So, when you're next on a flight, it may benefit you greatly to just throw on a jumper and keep that air vent on. Number 9. Never use a dull knife. Yes, never use a dull knife. You may be thinking, but if something goes wrong, I'm less likely to cut myself using a dull knife, right? Wrong. If you use a dull knife, it's far more likely something will go wrong, therefore putting yourself and your appendages at risk. A sharp knife will do what it's intended to do, which is to cut things cleanly and decisively. So as long as you're not doing anything stupid like cutting towards your fingers or flailing around, please for the sake of yourself and everyone around you don't do this, the knife will do what it was designed to do, cutting with precision with minimal effort. A blunt knife, however, is far more likely to slip off surfaces of tougher or harder objects. This means it has the capacity to go in a direction you didn't intend. Goodbye, fingers. Blunt knives also have a tendency to crush food rather than cut or slice. For example, if you were cutting an onion with a blunt knife, the layers will separate, causing the blade to veer off. You will then find yourself spending more time and effort trying to cut smaller pieces. Number 8. Never read while on the toilet. Phew, you may think, is this guy serious? What else am I supposed to do when giving birth to a black eel? Not reading, apparently, as it can be detrimental to your health. The longer you sit your bum down on the loo, the more likely you are to get piles. Nasty. And the more stress and strain you put on your posterior, you are at a higher risk of causing hemorrhoids. Not good. Doctors recommend that you're better off keeping your bodily functions to no more than 15 minutes and only make the adventure to the bathroom when the urge hits you. If your urge to poop is not there, you may be tempted to push or strain to get the dirty job done. That straining can lead to hemorrhoids, swollen blood vessels around your anus that become inflamed, painful, and have the potential to bleed. So, diverting your attention away from doing the deed by looking through your phone or reading a book or magazine on hand can get you out of the pooping mode. There is something called the peristalsis wave, which are involuntary movements and contractions in the digestive tract that moves your stool along your bowel. These spark your need to go number two. When your stool hits your rectum, your body feels the urge to go to the bathroom. If you're unable to go and you experience that feeling, you may get reverse peristalsis. This is when your stool gets backed up, meaning you may get constipated, making it harder to go next time. If you're sitting on the throne for more than 15 minutes, it may be a sign that something's wrong. However, it could be something as simple as stress or that you need more fiber in your diet. Number seven, never go to sleep hungry. It has been proven that hunger pains keep the brain mentally alert and attentive, making it more difficult to get a decent night's sleep. Not getting a good night's sleep not only causes negative effects such as a weaker immune system, peaking blood levels, and mood swings, but it can also lower your metabolism and increase levels of a hormone called ghrelin, which increases your appetite. This could encourage you to binge eat, resulting in weight gain and causing your blood sugar levels to peak unhealthily. Hopping into bed hungry doesn't just give you a mediocre night's sleep, but it can also be bad for those of you who are trying to build muscle. If you like to work out, make sure you don't go to bed hungry as after you fall asleep, your body uses hormones to support muscle growth and repair. In the absence of these hormones, your muscles will be more sore the next day and it'll take you longer to recover, meaning your fitness goals may suffer. To avoid those pesky hunger pains when going to bed, make sure you don't miss meals during the day. You may want to opt for a light snack before bed. If not, you may be up for a while and wake up feeling more tired and achy than usual. 
Number 6. Never pack lithium batteries in checked luggage. If you pack away batteries in your luggage, ready to power up your devices on your trip, you may need to have a rethink. Although okay when installed in your electronic devices, lithium batteries can be very dangerous when loose. They may be small in size, but they can cause major damage. If they are able to move around, they have the ability to catch fire and cause disastrous damage to planes while flying. There are even concerns of lithium batteries igniting and exploding inside the hull of planes, bringing them down. Check out the damage they can do by watching this video by the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration. The FAA warns of potential risk for catastrophic hull loss due to significant identified dangers associated with the transport of lithium batteries as cargo on either passenger or cargo aircraft. They also stated that airplane cargo holds can get so hot that they can cause lithium batteries to ignite themselves. Number 5. Never Squeeze Spots or Pimples Although it may be tempting to pop that pesky spot on your face, refrain yourself from touching it, as you may be doing more harm than good. Spots occur when the pores on your face get clogged up and bacteria starts to thrive in there. As your immune system tackles this, it releases white blood cells to flush out all the unwanted bacteria. This causes a reaction on your skin, such as redness and swelling, and finally, the result of a new pimple. And I know, there is something weirdly satisfying about popping a pimple, but you should never do this, ever. When you attempt to squeeze or pop a pimple, you are injuring the wall of the pore, making it susceptible to more bacteria, exposing you to a higher risk of getting an infection or potentially resulting in a scar on your skin. Best thing to do is to let your skin take care of itself. Instead, attempt to eliminate any factors that may enable inflammation in the first place. Number four, never leave water bottles in your car. Leaving a water bottle in your car could pose a potential fire hazard. When a bottle filled with liquid comes into contact with sunlight, it acts as a magnifying glass. The liquid inside and the clear material of the bottle creates a focused beam that can cause spontaneous combustion or a fire. And while I don't want to panic you, as the likelihood of a fire happening is low, it does happen. Just ask Idaho-based battery technician Dione Amachostegui. While out on his lunch break, he noticed smoke in his truck. What had happened was that sunlight had been refracted through his water bottle, resulting in the truck seat catching on fire. After this close call, Amuchastegui and his colleagues decided to conduct their own experiment to register what temperature was needed to potentially cause a fire. They found out that 99 degrees Celsius was hot enough to burn a hole through the seat. Note to self, always take your bottle with you when leaving your car. Number 3. Never heat breast milk in a microwave Not only do microwaves heat milk unevenly, but excessive heat has the potential to destroy important nutrients, proteins, and vitamins within the milk that your baby needs. The CDC recommends to avoid using a microwave oven to thaw or heat bottles of breast milk. It's also recommended that you follow these guidelines to make sure breast milk is handled in the correct way meaning more nutrients for your baby. Store breast milk in small batches of around two to four ounces. If there's any remaining breast milk after the baby has fed, it should be used within two hours. Also importantly, it's recommended that you use refrigerated breast milk within four days. Number two, never share lip balm, lip gloss, or lipsticks. You may be in the habit of sharing your lip balms, lip glosses, or lipsticks with your girlfriends, but they may be holding some not-so-nice things that could potentially harm you. Yes, I know, having dry lips is a pain, but here are some reasons as to why you should avoid sharing. Lip skin is one of the most vulnerable parts of your body. Just under the thin membrane of your lips is a net of capillaries. Everything you apply onto your lips is automatically absorbed and passed on into your bloodstream, which includes bacteria. Even if a few days has passed and someone else used the balm, gloss, or lipstick, any viruses that have attached can survive for weeks. Through someone else's balm, you can also catch herpes, even if the person has no visible sign of the disease. And definitely don't share your balm, gloss, or lipstick with someone with a slight break in the skin, chapped lips, or ulcers. If someone does use it, make sure you throw it away, as it's a wet environment, giving it the perfect place for bacteria to thrive. 
Before I reveal the most outrageous example in this list, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to Be Amazed. We upload amazing fact-filled videos every day, so don't miss out on learning some amazing new information. Also, hit that bell icon for notifications on more amazing fact-filled videos. Number 1. Never sleep with your phone As much as we may hate to admit it, we are extremely reliant on our phones. Day or night, our phones are never too far away. And even though phones are an essential part of our lives, there are a variety of reasons why you should not sleep with your phone, even though I can imagine we are all guilty of doing it. Firstly, it affects your sleeping habits. Your cell phone, along with tablets, TVs, and other devices that have LED screens, give off what is known as blue light. Studies suggest that blue lights prevent the production of the sleep-inducing hormone called metatonin and affects our biological clock and certain self-regulating processes. This may be due to the fact that blue lights emit a brightness that is similar to daylight, which can make our brains more alert, thinking that it's daytime at any time. Also, on a subconscious level, when you have your phone near you at nighttime, you're subconsciously saying that you wish to attend to your phone, which has the potential to increase your anxiety levels. As you're constantly alert and expectant of what may happen, it means you're less likely to have a good quality deep sleep. It can also heighten stress levels, cause insomnia, poor concentration, cognitive problems, lack of productivity, irritability, nightmares, and headaches. Experts recommend that you avoid looking at any LED screens two to three hours before you head to bed, suggesting that reading a book is a far better activity to do before sleeping. Secondly, and a direct threat to your physical safety, is the possibility of a fire hazard. Cell phones have been known to cause fires, setting pillows and bed sheets alight. Fire services warn that charging a phone between your pillow and mattress can cause the battery to overheat, potentially causing a fire or even exploding. Any electrical devices should be well ventilated while in use or charging to evade this risk. Leaving them on hard surfaces is one way to avoid this as it allows the heat to dissipate. Are you guilty of any of these actions? Will you take note of them next time? Or are you stuck in your old ways? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.